Hi, 60-something style here, and I am so glad that you're here. Um, today, we're going to do something a little different. I am trying on a couple of wigs, and they are not necessarily wig reviews. I'm trying them on for color. Now, y'all may have not noticed, I'm sure you haven't, that my hair has gone a little gray, and uh, so I was thinking I might start giving a little bit of a shot to... Um, Maybe a little bit of brunette, a little bit of golden, kind of blondish browns. My natural color is brunette, and um, I think that might be a little bit harsh now since I've gotten, um, shall we say, to a certain age. And we don't want to uh, try to look like a youngster, do we? Well, yeah, we do, but that's neither here nor there. First one I'm going to try on, and what I'm going to do as I'm get preparing my hair for the wig, um, I'm going to talk to y'all. I am. I've got one subscriber that emailed me with an issue of not being able to find a wig that suits her. She's ordered, I want to say four or five, I could be wrong there, but, uh, and has sent every single one of them back. And I think we all know that feeling. I'm sure when, you know, when we first got our wigs, or I, I'm going to speak from, for myself. I watched a lot of wig reviews before I got my first wig. And I just assumed that when I got a wig, my first one and put it on that I would look like Taz of Taz's Closet. You know, the beautiful uh, blue-eyed blonde that, that is just absolutely gorgeous. And I thought, well, I'll just uh, throw a wig on my head and I'll look just like Taz and I'll be ready to walk out the door. Well, surprise, surprise, didn't happen. My first wig, when I put it on, I thought there is no way in the world that I could ever wear this. It's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Well, okay, so I ended up keeping it, and I put it on. I started fiddling with it, but I think really it looked like a dead weasel on my head, but I convinced myself it looked good. It was one of those that just by itself didn't work, but if I used hair accessories, um, headband, different things like that, it looked fine. And, uh, Anyway, we're not going to talk about my wig journey right now, but what my thing is for that subscriber, I referred her to Jill Lynn Beauty Therapy, and I'm sure a lot of y'all have watched Jill and uh, are familiar with her channel. She does wonderful, wonderful tutorials on wigs, all kinds of things about wigs. She's very professional. So if you think about the exact opposite of me would be Jill. And she's one of those that can put a wig on any wig, do a little flu, 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 and it looks like her hair, period. So anyway, we are going to be talking more and be doing a video about the wig journey. I think that's what I'll even call it, maybe the wig journey, step one. And, um, okay, what I'm getting ready to put on right now is Raquel Welch, and this is um, Advanced French, and you can see it has that dark root in there, and it's SS Wheat, which is, uh, to me, it has a li it's not so much blonde as a kind of very light, light brownish blonde, and I think that's a good color for me for my age. But y'all are going to be the judge. Y'all get to tell me yes or no. So let me put this on. Now I am not trying this on to do a wig review. I am putting it on just for the color. So y'all can see uh, the color on me. And I've had this one for a while. And she's... Uh, She's got quite a bit of hair, which I do not have myself. There's several ways you can wear. You can wear with the little sides down. It's got short little boy cut, you know, over the ears. 
has kind of a, uh, the I'll show you the back in a minute, has kind of a little tapered up back with a nice, nice tight neckline. It is a lace front. Like I say, I have had her for probably a couple of years. Um, I've worn her maybe five, six, seven times in all of that time. And uh, the, I don't know, the lace front just kind of got a little bit funky looking and stretched out or whatever it is they do. So I trim that lace front really, really close to the hairline, and I think it looks much better now. It's, uh, she does, Raquel Welch does beautiful, beautiful lace fronts. So anyway, this color, and uh, I was going to try on something a little bit browner. I, it was a uh, Gabor, I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's a, a golden brownish blonde, and it is a little bit darker than this. And um, when I was going to try it on, but I wore that one so much because I loved it on me that the top's looking pretty funky, if you know what I mean. Permatease, you can really see it. it, it it's kind of beyond wearing anymore. And I hate throwing a wig out. I just hate it, but you know, sometimes you got to. So anyway, even though I'm not doing a review, I'm going to uh, do a turn just for anybody that might be wondering what the advanced French looks like. This is my left side and the back and the right side and the front side. So I like this one. I know I look better in short hair. I just, um, the reason I have grown mine out is simply because I don't want to have to get a short haircut trimmed every three weeks. My hair grows so fast. And um, if I want short hair, I can put on a wig. So there you go. But I really like this one. You can pat her down. You can get her, you know, you can tame her down quite a bit. Or... You can poof her up if you want to say you're a Texas girl. Just poof that baby up, whichever way you want to wear it. So this is one color. Y'all have seen me in silver. Here I am in a brownish, goldish blonde. And then I found a wig in my closet that I have not put on in a long time. And this was the first wig that I got that had a tiny bit of permatease, not much at all. And, um, and just a tiny little bit, and the fibers are so soft. And this is from Hairdo, and I want to say that's part of uh, Raquel Welch's um, umbrella one. I think that that might be one of her lines. Uh, don't take that to the bank, though. Just uh, make sure you do your own research before you believe me. So... And anyway, that was one of the first wig that I bought that I put it on and thought, oh, this feels so good. The color on me, I don't think is very good. Y'all are going to have to be the judge of it. But real cute little uh, low density, just has a cute little uh, asymmetrical thing, and I tend to like the asymmetrics. I like those a lot, but it's the color, and this is, uh, the name of this wig, I can't remember if I told you or not, is Angled Cut Bob, and it is Shadow Shade Ginger Root SS25, and that is a rooted medium gold blend. So I thought, well, I'm going to try the blonde thing, and let's see what happens with that. So I'm going to put this one on, and then we will, uh, let me take my glasses off to try this one on. We'll check her out. Let me shake her. She's been in the box for quite a while, so I don't think I've ever even done a review on this one for y'all. This one has a very basic cap. And it, um, again, has a real tight little neckline. Let's get that up to the hairline there. And let's just see. Oh, yeah, this is a cutie patootie. I forgot how cute she is. 
oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at that little cute side. Sorry, I have to look over in the mirror to kind of see what I'm doing. I'm a, a tucker. You know that, so i got to get her, get her tucked back there. Um, the bangs, I did trim the bangs. They were, I didn't like the bangs, so I kind of trimmed them, and I, I kind of effed them up a little bit. But anyway, very low density, very low density. You don't have a lot of puff. This is a great, great, great little wig, very comfortable. Um, I, back when I was working, I'd wear it to work, and it was just so comfortable. Now, you can wear this little side down, kind of sassy like that. Or you can, like I tend to like, is uh, put most of it back behind your ears and have a little, uh, just a little, little bit hanging out there. Now, you can get a little bit of volume here if... You know, if you're one, if you feel like she's too flat, I love her just for a daytime look, just a, a throw it on, go to work kind of look. The only problem is the color. So y'all are going to have to tell me. You're going to have to tell me about the color. What do you think? Can I do the golden blondes? Um, or should I stick more with the darker tones? Should I try one that's maybe... Uh, actual brunette and let y'all see y'all are going to be the one to judge it so uh below when you go down below to do the thumbs up and to subscribe if you're not already subscribed go ahead and go down just a little bit further to the comments and tell me yay or nay on the blonde uh, i know the other one was blonde but when you look at the difference in the colors i mean you can see it it's much ashier it has a, a brownish to it this one kind of to me pretty gold i don't know it i don't even know if it goes with my complexion i just i don't know okay next thing we're going to talk about and i'm going to try to rush through this um i've lost my mind y'all in case you're wondering totally completely lost my freaking mind um, as you're aware, I'm retired, and I plan to retire and just enjoy life and just do retirement stuff. Well, um, I'm going to start homeschooling one of my grandchildren. Can you believe that? He is nine, and he's in the fourth grade, and he's really having a problem. The virtual school thing is just not working for him. Um his mother does not want to send him to school because he has asthma. She doesn't want him wearing a mask due to his asthma, and that's very understandable. But, you know, I've, I've talked to a lot of people. I've watched a lot of videos about the, the actual going to school, the in-person school, and the virtual school, and none of it's working. It's not working for these kids. I feel like the kids are getting shortchanged on this, so... I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do it, um, never thought I'd be a teacher, but hmm, just call me Teacher Gunga, and Gunga, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before, but Gunga is my grandmother name, my first grandson named me that, and uh, so leave me a comment below, let me know what your grandmother name is, let's see if there's anything any more unusual than Gunga, and we spell it G-U-N-G-A just like it sounds, Goonga. Um, so I've got several videos coming up. I am so over these black frames. I'm so over it. Um, I'm going Thursday to get my eyes done, uh, tested, and then I'll be ordering new glasses. And I'm going to try this online place, um, Zenny, and um, I'll do a review on that and let you know how it works ordering them online and let's see what else oh i've fallen in love with the walmart fall uh, wardrobe hauls on youtube so i went to walmart and you know all the people the majority of the people doing them are moms you know 20s 30s even up to 40s moms and there's one or two mature ladies that have done the hauls from walmart but I, at the risk of looking like a hoochie, I love watching the, the younger girls because they're really hip, 
hip hip on trend, the styling, all of that. So I try to take, uh, you know, I I pick pieces of what they do and then tr I'm going to be styling it as a, a mature woman because when we become a certain age, we don't want to look like a hoochie or honky tonker. And so I'm going to, I went today, I bought a bunch of stuff. It's going to be next week at least before I'll get a chance to get that video done, edited and up. So I've got that one coming up. I have ordered Paula Young Carson in a real pretty, um, I don't remember the color, but it's a, I want to say it's a blondish brownish thing. So I'm excited to get that, see how it looks. I'm afraid I'm not going to like it. Who knows? Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm scared it may look like a, a dead weasel on my head. I don't know, but... We'll find out, and let's see what else have I got going. So the homeschooling, uh, the glasses I'm going to order online, and this uh, Zenny is really cool. I've already gone on and looked at the the a bunch of the different frames. The prices are unbelievable, and um, I've got a hair poking me in the eye, y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm excited to do that. And let's see, I've got that haul coming up, the, the Walmart haul and styling, and got a lot of stuff coming. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, I'll, I'm at the risk of repeating myself, but I'm really old, so you know I can get by with repeating myself. If you're not uh, subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would. I finally hit a thousand subscribers, and you know, I'm a, I'm a star. I'm a star. What can I say? I have become a YouTube star. Can you see my little top here? Let me raise up a little bit. Isn't that the cutest thing? Um, you can see my bra strap, so I do look a little bit hoochified. But is this not the cutest? Um, Walmart on clearance, $3. I freaking love clearances. I love end-of-season clearances. You can get the best stuff. Anyway, uh, I don't want to keep you any longer. This has gotten way longer than it ever should have. So remember, a thumbs up if you like this video. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see, leave a comment below. Um, yeah, so I'll see you next time. And y'all remember, it doesn't take much to look like a million bucks. It just doesn't take much. You can do it. And just stick with me and I'll show you how. See you later, and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye-bye.